More than 10 million Nigerians are facing severe food insecurity, according to a new United Nations Food Agency report. Local farmers have been struggling to access their farms due to widespread violence, thereby worsening the food insecurity in the West African state. The impact of the coronavirus global pandemic has further deteriorated the situation, leaving many wondering how soon the problem could be resolved. Details in this report. Mohammed Ibrahim's yam trade is gradually thinning out. This has been the most difficult time for the business in the 34 years that he's been running it. The 55-year-old gets his produce from farms in the northern states and sells them in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. But supply from farmers has been reducing. Okay, before go back. When we went to the market before to buy yams, we saw a lot from farmers in the market. We could buy them at an affordable rate from the farmers, so we could resell to our customers at a lower price as well. Because of that, our goods were selling fast. But now yams are very expensive, because farmers are not producing as much, and when we buy, our customers can't afford them. Nigeria is facing its worst food insecurity since 2017. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization says 12.8 million people across 16 northern states of the nation and the federal capital make up the food insecure population. But that's only a fraction of the larger population yet to be reviewed. It represent a little bit above 50% of the total population in Nigeria. So if uh, we are able to, to roll it out to the other 20 states, of course it could be higher based on the evidence that would be collected from the additional 20 states. Protracted armed conflicts, banditry, kidnappings and insurgency have continued to worsen the food insecurity, keeping farmers away from their farms. The situation has been compounded by the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The northeastern states of Borno, Adamawa and Yobe are the worst hit, accounting for a third of the hungry population. Importantly, there would therefore be need for, let's say, actionable planning and policy formulation to address the drivers of acute food and nutrition insecurity. I think there would be the need of government and humanitarian agencies to intensify and sustain uh, life-saving support and livelihood support to, to affected populations, particularly those that are in phase three and phase four of the analysis. Food security indicators like changes in consumption and the scale of the hunger problem were used in the FAO analysis. It's not clear how much longer it would take authorities to bring the problem of insecurity under control so that many can return to their farms. But in the meantime, those affected will continue relying on humanitarian support just to get by.